Hey everybody, welcome to another Redstone video. Today I'm joined by Little Mouse. Hello everyone. Hey. And today we got the long-awaited glass chamber finally. So this design was yeah done by Little Mouse. Uh, he pretty much took over and yeah, he pretty much spent the last six months working on all kinds of blast chambers and I can already say we got more to come, which was mostly done by Little Mouse. It was just helping here a bit, but he, he really did most of the work. And yeah, today I want to show you the first version of the blast chamber. So we show multiple ones, uh, more complicated ones that also yield more blocks per TNT, etc. But this I would say is a really nice compromise between um, effort and efficiency. It works in 1.12 and 1.13, 1.13.1 to be precise, and I would say we just try it out. So I use a command block here just to put in a block uh, here in this spot, uh, otherwise you would have your incoming block stream coming from a tree farm, cobble farm, etc. But for yeah, showcase sake, we're using a command block here to place the blocks. All right, uh, Little Mouse, you want to maybe explain the farm? Okay, so uh, the basic design here uh, is a vertical blast chamber. So if you stand underneath, you'll see that the logic is going to decide which layers to push in to actually build the shape. Um, and the way these chambers are set up is I have a 3x3 three three gap, which the TNT will be shot up into. And this actually allows you to break slightly more blocks because the blocks closest to the TNT burst actually shield uh, the most additional blocks. So this is a way that we actually allow ourselves to break just a few more blocks. This chamber breaks 230 blocks total per TNT. Um, 20 more than the old design. Uh, actually, and it has a, a little bit better efficiency. I think the old design was 99.7. Yes, that's true. This one has, um, I tested it actually for, I think, almost 100,000 minutes, and it has a 99.98% efficiency. Okay, um, so should we go a bit of, over the redstone? Sure. So, uh, Obviously, you have your smart piston here that's pushing blocks in if you had a, a another block stream. And a, a set of winding pistons. And this is your piston delay. This is necessary so that um, TNT has a fuse time of 80 game ticks. And once the final um, like column or row comes in, that's when you start your... Uh, timer, your timing circuit, and you need 80 game ticks of delay from that row to when it gets pushed down so that the entire stack becomes block 36. Yeah, so um, block 36 has a lower blast resistance and that pretty much makes the whole design work. Otherwise, if you wouldn't use that trick, then TNT is not really a feasible option, as you might know already. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, there's a total of, I think... 11 different layers that are pushed down um, and they each have their own logic which is all of this redstone on top and I'm controlling this logic using signal strength so we have signal strength zero which is the glass we have uh, cauldrons with one two and three and then finally we have a, an opaque block which is just taking a signal from this dropper in the back um, and basically all these do is they either cut off or they activate different redstone lines on top um, by just moving moving a solid block. And that's how we select the different shapes uh, for the layers that we're pushing down. Mm -hmm. What's uh, also interesting is the system here in the back of the redstone block. Yeah, uh, so it's not necessary for this to, to be instant. Um, I just do this because a lot of my designs require much tighter timings. And basically, using this type of system, you can detect when every single block space on the top layer is full. So if you had multiple redstone blocks, they would all have to be moved before this line would turn off. 
Um, here it doesn't matter. You only need one redstone block because uh, the shape is so simple. Um, but basically, once this redstone block is moved, you generate a zero tick pulse from this retraction. And then that pulse travels through all the way to the top where it activates the different observers. OK. Also interesting is that the TNT is shot upwards from the bottom. Uh, yeah, so, so this was, um, in order to simplify this design, I needed a, a completely flat layer on top, which meant we could no longer drop TNT from the bottom. And because we're using this 3x3 three three gap in the middle, we can't shoot it in from the side. So what I found, if we go into game mode 3, is you can actually dispense a TNT inside of a, a solid block. So it basically gets dispensed inside this ice block on top, which is sitting on top of a slime block. And when you punch that, that uh, slime block and that ice block up, the TNT gets momentum. So you can actually shoot the TNT straight up this way. And because the TNT is inside a, a solid block, the water stream doesn't actually change its uh, velocity or position because it's uh, deleted when the block moves up. Yeah, this is a pretty nice trick. <laughs> okay, but yeah, one issue with that is um, it doesn't entirely work with TNT duper. Um, so we use a dispenser here, but yeah, the whole blast chamber design was was kind of made um, with <laughs> the premise in mind that at some point TNT duping would be fixed. So that's why we tried to make those blast chambers as efficient as possible to get as many blocks per TNT as possible. And this time we just used the dispenser. But um, we will probably also show another blast chamber design uh, that uses TNT in the future. TNT duping in the future. All right. But yeah, this, this, this design here, I would say we provide a world download um, we might have another, maybe a bit simpler design upcoming, which I'll make a tutorial on. And we also will have a more efficient design coming up, which we also show, um, which is yeah, as efficient as possible almost. I think Little Mouse, yeah, really spend a lot of time on it, and this, this one will blow your mind. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, okay, I would say, yeah, that's pretty much it. You can find the right download in the description. Thanks a lot to Little Mouse for the design. Also, there's a link to his channel uh, in the video description. Also, we yeah, have does other stuff. Um, for example, recently made also a TNT-related system uh, with um, Endstone. That was quite interesting. So definitely check him out. And let's say, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye. Have a good one. Bye.